crime alert, a thief targets a local little league making off with thousands of dollars in equipment. And this isn't the first time. Now parents are worried about their kids' safety. 10 News reporter Brian Shlonsky is live in Chula Vista with the video that the parents hope will get the latest thief thrown in jail. Brian? Yeah, Kim, that's exactly right. And you can see out front here, they've got a fence. This is about six feet high. And right down here, there's not one but two locks and a chain. But none of that seeming to stop this thief from stealing from even the youngest Little Leaguers here. These kids. Yeah, we're, we're looking for big things from these guys. Are used to success. Ooh. They were number two in the state last year. Heck, they've even been to the Little League World Series. But while the Chula Vista Little Leaguers may be used to victories on the diamond, they're also getting used to losses. To be hit twice in the same year, you know, that really takes us back. Big time money losses at the hands of thieves. We put out a hard earned money to, to get these fields going, to get all the equipment. Everything that we do here, I feel like somebody just came into my house and stole from me. That's how I feel. Caught on surveillance cameras, watch. This guy pries open a door and breaks into a garage near the fields. Here, he's trying to throw what looks like a sheet over the camera. If you're stealing from Little League, you know, I mean, you're uh, pretty low on the totem pole, I guess. And steal he did. The league says he took this gator. They found it across the street in a creek. Still missing two pitching machines worth around three grand total. So now we have no machines. And, and we use those for our, li for our little guys. Hey! Flashback six months. Broken locks, some tire tracks, and empty shelves show the damage the last time a thief hit. That loss even bigger, close to 20 grand. For the players, their sights are still set on winning, playing the game they love. I love this field. This will probably be my home for the rest of my life, and I will always love this field. For their parents, the bullseye is now on the thief and getting him caught. So the league says it did file a police report. So if you recognize the guy from that surveillance video, call Chula Vista Police. Reporting live tonight in Chula Vista, Brian Schlonsky, 10 News.